Kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me, Me well. well. A muddy good time. Cookie, Candy, and Pudding were so happy to discover that the snow had finally melted. We've been waiting for this. And it's finally here. You mean the sunshine? Nah, the new seesaw's here. So, so awesome. awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Dibs on first try, yeah! <laughs> no! Watch out, Cookie! The new seesaw was in the middle of a big puddle of sticky, icky mud. Just think how muddy and gross we'll get if we try to walk across that. If Daddy were here, we'd be just fine. He'd pick up the three of us and carry us over there. But Pudding, Daddy can't help us. He's at work now. Oh. Huh? Hello? Oh, that's right. I'm at work at the factory. Hey, let's use stilts to walk across the mud. <laughs> Do you have any better suggestions, Cookie? Well, we could also sail across the mud on something. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> What'll we do? Hey, I know how we can get across. It isn't deep. Take a look, boys. Some rubber boots are all we need to get across it. Now the kitty cats had smiles on their faces and rubber boots on their feet. But Cupcake and Smudge wanted to get to the new seesaw, too. Come on, Cupcake! Watch out, Smudge! I won't look as beautiful if I'm covered in mud. <gasps> Meow! Yucky mud. Candy, would you like to try it first? Yeah, thanks, Cupcake! Oh, this is gonna be so much fun! Just please make sure you don't splash mud on my boots. <laughs> 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 oh no! There's mud everywhere! It even got on smudge all the way over there! <laughs> don't laugh! Look at my dress! And my shirt! <laughs> hey, Pudding, don't cry! I'll clean it off with puddle water! Unfortunately, adding water just made more mud. Now I'm even dirtier! <laughs> Well, since we're already completely dirty, I say that it's mud angel time, guys! <laughs> Cookie, I'm sorry, but that is just gross. Guys, Mom is gonna be so upset that we got our clothes this dirty. It's not our fault that there's mud. Well, maybe we should wait for the mud to dry before we play outside. How long is that going to take? Uh, I think it should be dried out by summer. Oh, wow. Looks like you had a really good time. We're really sorry that we got all covered in mud. But don't worry. We've decided to stop going outside. At least not until summertime. You're not going outside until summer? <laughs> oh. oh, Mommy. You're just as muddy as us. True. But a little mud never hurt anyone. But isn't your dress ruined now? Not at all. Just a little dirty. But the washing machine will clean it all right up. Hooray! Let's hear it for the wonderful washing machine! <laughs> yes, clothes can be washed, but getting them dirty on purpose isn't great. You could end up sick that way. So we don't have to wait inside till the mud dries? Of course not. Going outside is good for you, even when there's mud. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! That's when Daddy came home. At least they thought it was Daddy under all that mud. Hey! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> the car got stuck in the mud, so I had to get out and push. All this mud makes the kitty cats look more like piggy cats. <laughs> <laughs> the washing machine cleaned their muddy clothes right up. Then they headed back outside for more family fun. And no one minded getting a little bit grubby. Writing stories. One day, Candy, Cookie, and Pudding wanted their daddy to read them a book. I want a lovely princess book. But one with lots of pirates. Also with lots of mushrooms. Right, that's one princess <sighs> book, one about pirates, <laughs> and an encyclopedia of mushrooms. I don't want to hear another book about a princess. I mean, not really. 
Well, I don't want to hear another book about pirates. But the mushroom book's good, right? Oh, oh no, not, not that, that again. again! You guys need to get together and write a book of your own that has a princess, pirate, and uh, mushrooms. We're going to be real writers! So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! We'll come up with a story, guys. And Daddy will write it up for us. Hey! Oh. But it turned out writing books isn't easy. Well, why aren't we writing? Hey, uh, eh. Ah, got it! Huh? Uh, nah. It seems like we're not coming up with anything. You need inspiration to write a really good book. Inspiration? Well, inspiration is when you haven't got any ideas, then one just pops in your head. Oh! I've got an idea! Deep in the woods. I've got one. We I start in the moon, and there's a really space out there. But he's the mushroom bat thingy. And he's got his monkey hat. Stop. And... That won't work at all. Only one of you needs to start. Then let someone else take over. Daddy's right, guys. I'll start then. Deep in the woods, there stood a beautiful... Mushroom. Right? Not right. A castle. The home of a clever princess. She sat in her tower and looked around. Princess sat and looked around. <laughs> Pretty good opening. My turn. Then suddenly the castle was attacked by... Mushrooms. <laughs> Not mushrooms, Pudding. Pirates. Ah, uh, okay then. Yo-ho! The pirates picked up the castle and took it with them on their ship. And then the princess looked out of her window and saw a giant... Mushroom! Uh, ocean shroom! Yeah! Come on! Why would there be an ocean shroom? You guys got your princesses and pirates, so why can't I have mushrooms? <laughs> All right, what am I putting then? So what's my family doing? Ha! Huh, your kitties have decided to become riders! We're looking for something cool and awesome to attack our pirate ship! We need something really good! Ha, sounds fun. Could you open this? You could use some sort of giant... Oh, a mushroom, maybe. <laughs> Mom, that's exactly what I said. Huge mushroom wants to sink the ship. <laughs> Left turn, matey. Now right turn, matey. Left turn. Right turn. Left turn. Right turn. Beware! <laughs> Here comes the giant mushroom! <laughs> Pirates, prepare to repel the giganto shroom! Oh! Mm. But the mushroom had a giant metal helmet! <laughs> right? <laughs> hey! I have a really good idea! We should beat the giganta shroom by boiling it, like in soup, right? Because boiled mushrooms couldn't hurt a ship at all. Then the pirates defeated the terrible mushroom. And then made friends with a clever princess. And they went on to have awesome adventures together on the sea. The end! A mushroom princess pirate tale. <laughs> it's such a good story. <laughs> Uh, in fact, I can almost smell the mushroom boiling. That's mushroom soup that you smell. <sighs> My little writers, it's lunchtime. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! And after their yummy lunch, Daddy printed out a copy of The Princess, the Pirate, and the Giant Mushroom of the Sea, written by the Kitty Cats. The Quiet Game. One day, Mommy sat down to work on her new kids' fashion designs. Mommy! We want to build a pirate ship out in the yard. To play sea adventures and stuff. That's a great idea. Uh, show it to me when you're finished building it. But we need some things like boxes, tape, and rope, and uh, lots of stuff we haven't thought of. Oh. Mommy helped the kitty cats find what they needed and helped them carry it to the garden. But she could still hear the kittens outside. We'll build it 
here. No, over there. And she couldn't concentrate. This pirate ship was my idea. But I drew what it'll look like. And I thought of how to build it, you know. Yeah, and? Kittens. Why don't the three of you play the quiet game? The, the quiet, quiet game? Yes, the kitten who can stay silent the longest is the winner. And I'll make the winner their very own flag to put on the ship. Oh, that's great. Just be sure to put a star on my flag after I win. I want a flower on mine. A mushroom for me. Okay, now shh. The quiet game has now started. So after that, the first kitten to say anything would lose the game. The kitty cats kept working on their shipbuilding. But it turned out to be much harder without words. Pudding suggested to Cookie that they build the mast out of old skis. But Cookie thought that Pudding wanted to go skiing. And it was summertime. Cookie tried to show Pudding that it was summer. You can't ski on the grass. But then Pudding thought Cookie wanted to ski. Cookie and Pudding tried to understand what candy meant. Was she saying they could ski on the sheet instead of snow? Or did she want to play ghosts? Or maybe she wanted to make a big painting. At last it was clear. Candy was saying that the sheet would make a great sail. Only the kittens would need to ask Mommy's permission. Uh -uh. But none of them wanted to talk and lose the quiet game. The wind almost carried the sheet into a puddle. They all knew what they should do was call Mommy. Who would be the first to talk and lose the game? <sighs> At last, my work's all finished. Mommy! Help! <gasps> oh, Mommy! Oh. 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 The laundry was saved. Mommy! But it looked like all three kittens had lost the game. Okay, it's time to decide what's going to be on your flag. A flower, mushroom, or star? But didn't we all lose the game? We all broke the quiet game rules when we called you. Which means all three of us lost the game. But you all did the right thing. You went ahead and built your boat quietly. And you only talked to stop an accident from happening. So I consider all three of you winners. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The quiet game turned out to be a lot of fun for the kitty cats. And not only did Mommy make them a very special flag, but she let them use the sheet as a sail for their boat, too. Bicycle! It was a big day. Mommy and Daddy gave Candy her very first big girl bicycle. <gasps> Surprise! <laughs> Hooray! Now I'll be able to enter the big bicycle race with you guys! So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Wait, I just remembered I don't know how to ride a big girl bike. You'll learn to ride without training wheels in no time if your brothers give you lessons. <laughs> yeah! It's pretty easy. Yep. Candy was very proud to show off her new bike to their friends. Look at you! Candy, you look all grown up on your new bicycle. It's beautiful, Candy! When are we going to start the race, everyone? Well, we have to teach Candy how to ride her new bike first. Uh... It's easy, Candy! Watch! Cookie rode so fast, poor Candy could barely follow what he was doing. Get all that? No. Well, just give it a try anyway. Ah! Well, that didn't work at all. Here, I'll show you the proper way to ride. Pudding did just what Cookie did, only much slower. Candy watched as closely as she could. Ah, I don't think I can do this. Watch, this is how you turn. Look, the most important thing is that you pedal really fast. Um, 
I think the most important thing to learn is balance. Ringing the bell is important because it sounds so very pretty. Candy tried her best to remember all of her friend's advice. Come on, Candy, you can do it. Ah! Ouchie. How will I ever remember to turn with the handlebars and pedal really fast and keep my balance and ring the bell at the same time? Well, if you start at the top of a steep hill, you won't have to pedal hard to get so fast. But Cookie, how will I keep my balance? Uh, uh. Then for balance, we could just put really giant wheels on your bike. Ah! But pudding, wouldn't that be sort of dangerous? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> we should just tie a rubber band to two trees and then... Yeah! Nah, we should tie some pretty pink balloons to Candy's bike. You'd stay well balanced and look just lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going to learn to do this. Ah. Chase's daddy had arrived to start the big race. What was Candy going to do? It's time to start the race, little ones. Here's the starting line, and the finish line is at that red flag. Be good sports and have fun. But I can't. Hooray! After I win, I'll come back and show you how to ride, Candy. I promise. But if I win, I want to be the one who teaches her how. On your marks. Kids, get set. I'm going to win and teach Candy how to ride. No, you're not. All right, don't give up, Candy. Just try to keep your balance. Uh. Now just try to pedal. Uh. Balance, pedaling, turning, and ringing the bell as well. <laughs> yeah! Meanwhile, the competition was getting pretty fierce. I'll teach Candy way better than you. I will! You guys look funny when you're all stacked up like that. Huh? After a dramatic four-bike pileup, the winner is Little Candy! <laughs> Are you kidding us? Hey, hey Dad. Dad! Hey, hey Mom. Mom! Candy learned how to ride her big girl bike all by herself. It was awesome! She won the race and beat all of us. That's right! I had a feeling everything was going to turn out all right. Well, it didn't turn out so great for us because we lost the race. We didn't even finish. <laughs> Candy learning how to ride a bike is a win for the entire family. Because it means we'll be able to go on bike rides all together. There are trails all around our park. Daddy had already mapped out their first family bike ride picnic. Awesome! And when the family is on a long ride, we'll all be wearing our glow-in-the-dark bicycle safety vests. All right! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Candy may have won the race, but the family got a new way to have fun together, which is the best prize of all. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a whale of a time. One day, Daddy wanted to take a picture of a great big whale to enter in a wildlife magazine photo contest. So the whole family went out on Grandpa's boat. <laughs> okay, big smiles. Hmm. Yo ho! <laughs> Are we all ready for an ocean adventure? Oh yeah! yeah! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Giant whales! Come on, it's picture time! Hmm? Hmm? Huh? Oh, I'm hearing things. Oh, I'm not feeling very good. Oh, no, Pudding. It looks like you have seasickness. What does that mean? Seasickness? Is Pudding going to grow a tail like a little fishy? Hi. Huh? Ah! Or maybe Pudding will just turn into a cup of ocean water. Uh -huh. oh, I don't want to become ocean water. I already feel sick. Cookie, Candy, please stop scaring your brother. Seasickness is just when someone gets an upset tummy from rocking on the waves. Hey, Pudding, you just need a distraction. Why don't you try to catch us something yummy to have for lunch? But if you catch a big whale, be sure to give me a yell. Fishing helped Pudding feel much better. Whale! Whale! Uh, uh, I was too late. Candy was helping Mommy get ready to serve lunch. Ah! 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 
Looks like you should probably feed these hungry seagulls, or we'll be left with no lunch at all. <laughs> Yay! Uh, oh, I missed my chance again. Oh. Cookie went to the bridge to see Grandpa drive the boat. <laughs> the thing to remember is to hold the wheel steady so the boat stays right on course. Cookie, here, give her a try. <sighs> ha! This is great! I'm really driving the boat, Grandpa! Huh? <laughs> The thing to remember is to hold the wheel so the boat stays on course. Suddenly, the weather changed and the wind rocked the boat. Oh, oh goodness! Oh! Uh, <laughs> Whoa! Oh, I missed him again. Oh, uh, cookie! Uh, I just keep holding the wheel steady, okay? Uh, I won't let go! Uh, Oops! <laughs> Soon the wind died back down and the boat stopped rocking. Uh. Oh! Ah! Now that was a peaceful nap. Looks like the ocean stayed peaceful then. Yay for Captain Cookie! Wonderful driving! <laughs> okay, big smiles. Oh, I think I've got one. Oh! Har, big smiles, everybody. <laughs> Taking a photo of the whale was much harder than Daddy expected. But with the help of the whole family, he got a better picture than he ever could have imagined. Beautiful kittens. One day, the kitty cat's friend Cupcake, who loves pretty things, came over. I'm inviting you to come participate in a really fun beauty pageant. The winner will get a great prize. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! So a beauty pageant, huh? What does beauty mean exactly? How will Cupcake decide who gets the prize? Do you think that one of our friends could tell us what beauty really is? I'm not totally sure, but for me, this is beautiful. I don't know who's the most beautiful, but I do know who's the scariest. <laughs> well, I kind of think that the most beautiful one of all is Candy. Because you guys are guys and she's a girl. So what are you saying? Boys can't be beautiful or something? Great. How are we supposed to find out what beauty is so we can win the big prize? Cupcake really loves pretty stuff, so she must think the cats on her flyer are beautiful. Okay, let's take a look. A black suit with a bow tie. Curled up whiskers. <laughs> a sparkly dress. Fancy hairdo. And high heels. Beautiful. The kittens felt like they needed to try to look like the cats in the flyer. Mommy! Daddy! We've got to get black suits right away. And bow ties as well. And I need a sparkly dress, a big hairdo, and shoes with super high heels. And we need to have our whiskers curled up. And then we'll need our nails painted and polished. <laughs> Nonsense. Why would you need all that? Because we need to be beautiful like the flyer cats. Then we're sure to win. Yeah. Oh, you silly and beautiful kittens. You think beauty is just about what you wear or your hairstyle? Well, yeah. We figured beauty was what was in the flyer picture. 
Not at all. It's really very different. How about these beautiful paintings? Ah. Or beautiful music, huh? Hmm. We can enjoy beautiful flowers. Or the beautiful sunsets. Let me get this straight. You're telling us beauty is all around us? Yes, but beauty is also inside us. Inside us? Oh, yes. The best way to show the world that you're beautiful is with your actions and not with the way that you look. I have a really good idea. Everyone's just so beautiful, it's going to be really hard to pick. Now let me present to you our final contestants. This is supposed to be a beauty pageant. Couldn't you have worn something nice and fancied up your hair? We're here to present other sorts of beauty to you. So here are some things we find beautiful. Mmm, beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> that was amazingly beautiful! Thanks for showing us all the different ways that kittens can be beautiful. You deserve to get the grand prize! Hey, you know, Raisin here can paint beautiful landscapes. And he knows how to play really beautiful music on the violin. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! So Cupcake's beauty pageant turned out to be a wonderful celebration of how beautiful we all are, inside and out. A dance competition. One morning, there was something very exciting on the news. It's the day of the big dance competition. Everyone is welcome, and the cat with the best dance moves wins a prize. Oh, I just love dancing. And I love prizes. Let's enter the dance competition. Great idea. We'll all go, and every one of us will dance. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Ha! <laughs> Mommy and I will dance the tango. <laughs> we took all those lessons, after all. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to dance like a ballerina, like a graceful little flower. And I'm going to do a break dance. <laughs> well, I... Uh, uh, guys, I think I don't know how to dance at all. Well, that's all right. You'll have plenty of time to learn before the contest this evening, and your sister and brother can help you along. We'll have you dancing in no time. We'll try something simple first, like a nice waltz. Ah! One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, ow! You stepped on my paw! I'm sorry. One, two, three, ow! One, two, three, ow, my paw! One, two, three, one, two, three, ow, ow, ow! Waltzing might be too tricky for you to start with. Let's try to break dance. Now pudding after me. <laughs> I think I broke something. Does that mean I did it right? Maybe you should try some folk dancing. <laughs> I can't hop around that much. I'm not a frog. Look. Then you can do the robot. There's no hopping involved. There doesn't seem to be much of anything involved. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. That dance is boring. How about the can can? It's really fun. I'm pretty sure that I can't, can't, can, can. Sorry, I was just trying to help. Well, my lovely kittens, how's it going? It turns out that I can't dance, so I can't go to the competition. Well, if Pudding can't go, then I'm not going either. Well, then your father and I will also stay home. Oh, uh, we will? Oh, all right. All of this is my fault. <laughs> I have a super great idea. What we need to do is a family dance with our very own special move. One that we know we can all do. 
Even, Even pudding, pudding too? too? Of course, pudding will have the most important part of all. That evening at the Grand Theater, the competition began. Lots of cats entered. Uh. Hmm. I think I'm a little nervous. Oh, hey there. Don't be. We're not nervous, am I right? No, I no, guess, no, no, right? Nervous. No need to be nervous, my See, loves. We're cool. Pudding, look. You have got this. You were born to do this dance. Breathtaking. And finally, we have the thrilling dance group, Two Cats and Their Kitty Cats. <laughs> that for weeks. Meanwhile, meanwhile, <laughs> and here's Pudding, the dancer that started it all. <laughs> the final scores are in, and of course, the Kitty Cat family wins. Oh, awesome! Meanwhile, 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 meanwhile. Always lovely to celebrate a victory, but it's even better when you share it with the whole family. Sunday. Early one Sunday morning, Mommy was going to the gym leaving cookie, candy, and pudding at home with Daddy. Uh, uh. I'm off to my exercise class. Have a nice time. I'll take great care of the kittens. Will you be all right without me? We'll be just fine, Mommy. Yeah, we're never ever bored with Dad. Yes, you're right about that. Bye, my loves. Dad! 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 Let's play with my dollies. Hey, Dad, let's play some chess. And darts. Uh, all right, my wonderful children. It'll be dollies, chess, and darts. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. But hmm. where was Daddy? Come on! Come on. Are you yeah, I'm coming, my beautiful children. Here's the plan. Miss Kitty Lou needs to try on all these pretty new dresses. Mm -hmm. Here, I've got the chessboard. I'll be white. Hmm. Magnetic darts! Here, Dad, just hold the board. Sounds like tons of fun. Okay, here we go. Hooray. Oopsie. <laughs> oh, no, Dad's gone back to Sleepy Town. So the kind-hearted kitties let their hard-working dad have a well-deserved nap. Sort of. Wakey, wakey. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle. tickle, tickle. Oh, Tommy Rob. Mm. How are we ever going to wake him up? I've got a great idea that just might do it. Oh, Daddy, water you sleeping for. But pudding, <laughs> if he gets all wet, he could catch a cold. <laughs> I feel... Well, we could find something super crazy, massively loud, and put it next to him. Oh, Daddy! <laughs> but, Cookie, that would probably give him a horrible scare. How, How should, should we, we wake, wake him, him then? then? Maybe we just shouldn't. Why don't we all be nice to him and let him have his nap? When he wakes up, he'll have lots and lots of energy for playing games with us. Good, Good idea! idea. Shh. Meow, 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 meow. Nighty night. Mm. So do you think he's slept enough yet? Not quite yet. And now? Well, I guess he might have. Can't really tell. Then shouldn't he be waking up? Stand back. I got this. Hello? If they ask, I'm in the factory doing a toffee inspection. Nap time. Ugh. I've got an awesome idea. When Mommy yeah. sings me lullabies, I rest way better. Why don't we sing yeah. Daddy one? Quiet 
Kitty's dad's asleep. Please don't purr or make a peep. Tired daddy, close your eyes. We'll have fun when you arise. Um. So, I see you're playing with Daddy wasn't boring at all. Wake up, my sleepy heads. Mom's here. Oh. Uh-huh. I'm 100% awake, rising and shining. <laughs> hey, get up, kids. Oh, can we sleep just a bit longer? Because it is Sunday, after all. Well, I suppose. Just keep on sleeping. But me and Daddy will be having an awesome time outside, tossing this wonder disc oh, around. Oh, boy. Uh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> what? You got us a wonder disc? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Whether taking a little nap or playing together, Sunday is a wonderful family day. <laughs> the art gallery. The kitty cats had worked up quite an appetite butterfly chasing when they ran into their friend Mustard. Hey, hey there, there, Mustard! <laughs> oh, hi. What are you eating there? The yummiest declare in the history of the world. Oh, wow. Could the three of us have just a taste of it? Not a chance. If you want some, then go buy one for yourself. They sell them over there in the cafeteria, the little one that's inside the great big fancy art gallery. Hum. A cafeteria in the art gallery? Can you tell us how we can get there? All right. First, you go straight ahead past the square cat, go straight until you reach the screaming cat, then go right as far as the smiling cat. You'll come to a sculpture, the Thinking Cat. Right past him is the cafeteria. And in the cafeteria are the eclairs. That made no sense at all. What square cat where? Uh, I don't understand it, but I do have it memorized. Then why don't we run home and draw a nice map of our route? The kitty cats were very excited to have a map to the world's yummiest treasure. Hey, Mom! Can we visit the big art gallery, please? Oh, it's wonderful that you kitties have taken an interest in art, but I'm tied up cooking lunch. Ask your father. I bet he'd be happy to take you to the gallery. Mom said that? You know, I'm just as busy as your mother. As long as it's for the sake of art, though, I guess this can wait. Let's go to the art gallery right now. Hooray! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! The gallery was very big and had lots and lots of pictures. Listen up, kitties, and I'll teach you all about the art. This place has all the greats, like, uh, uh, was, uh... Hey, there's the square cat, look! Come on! He's really funny, too! <laughs> <laughs> right, so this is Cats on Rocks by Andy Hairball. Huh? Ooh, that's a masterpiece. The screaming cat's next. Look there! Ah! <laughs> oh, this is a very famous painting. It's called the Owl. Look, there's the smiling cat. Huh? Mm. <laughs> the Mona Lisa. Oh, what's that this must be the thinking cat over there. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> hey, look! The eclairs! Daddy, could you please buy some yummy eclairs for us? Hey, is this the whole reason you wanted to come here? <gasps> Mustard was right. This is the yummiest eclair I've ever eaten. Now, this is what I call a masterpiece. <laughs> they use my eclair recipe to make those, you know. Then could you make some more for us when we get home? I don't think so. I have to finish my work. I lost time taking you to a gallery when you really wanted to go to a bakery. Well, you got what you came for. Come on. It's a shame that Dad won't make us any more eclairs because I really love those things. They're great, but I also like the screaming cat. I loved the smiling cat. I thought the square cat was really cool. But Dad thinks the three of us didn't care anything about the art. I have a super good idea. We should all do our very own paintings for him. Then Daddy will know that the gallery trip wasn't a waste of time at all. And soon the kitty cat's house was full of hardworking artists. Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> what are you up to in here? Oh, 
It's just wonderful. Why, we could hang these up and have our own art gallery. Darling kids, I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed looking at these paintings. And I thought this was a good way to say thank you. Eclairs! The kittens agreed that Dad's eclairs were a work of art. Now it's just like a big fancy gallery here. Beautiful art everywhere and a first-rate cafeteria. Um. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Dad's eclairs were a very big hit, and everyone agreed the Kitty Cat's art gallery was almost as good as the real thing. Detectives! One day, Cookie, Candy, and Pudding decided to play with their favorite toys. Glub, glub, screech! Glub, glub, vroom! My fish car rules! But Candy couldn't find her precious kitten doll. Miss Kitty Lou is gone! Guess you lost her. Know how you feel. Because I'm always losing my stuff. You leave your toys everywhere, but I take care of my doll. Ha-ha! <laughs> you probably just left her somewhere. Maybe she'll turn up, you know, one day. Like maybe when we're a hundred. <laughs> but I want Miss Kitty Lou now, not in a hundred years. If Perlock Holmes, the great detective, were here, he'd help us find her in no time. I've been reading about his super duper smart deduction method. What did you just say? Duck, what was that? Deduction method. It means that you have to think really hard about something you lost and then go look. It's pretty much the most geniusy way to look for stuff. <laughs> Elementary. It won't work. Perlock Holmes is in books. He can't really help me. But we can become great detectives too and find Miss Kitty Lou for you. Oh, oh awesome! awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! So, Miss Candy Cat, exactly how big would you say your missing doll was? Sort of this big, sir. That big, huh? Too big to lose in the grass. Hmm. Oh, hmm. I know a place something that big could hide for sure. Oh, I'm okay. Dark in here. Hello? Found something? Miss Kitty Lou? Better. Dad's old hat with a visitor living in it. Look. <laughs> How on earth did Dad's hat end up as an owl house? Guess he must have left it laying around somewhere. So, Miss Candy Cat, please tell me where the last place you saw Miss Kitty Lou was. It was in the sand pit, sir. We were making sand castles and it started to rain. That's it then. Your doll must be buried in the sand. Any luck? Think so. Is it my kitty? Better. One of my cars. Putting stinky sock. And a mole! Ha. How did my car end up buried in the sand? Elementary, my dear Cookie. You just didn't put it back where it belongs. Where did you put Miss Kitty Lou then? I just don't know. Maybe we aren't great detectives after all. <laughs> yes, we are. You've got me thinking. Let's try finding my doll stroller. When the rain started, I put Kitty Lou right near our stroller. This could be an important piece of the puzzle, Miss Candy Cat. Lead the hunt! And so the three detectives set out on their search for the missing doll's also missing stroller. Up and down they searched. <laughs> it wasn't always easy. But world-class detectives never give up. I found some tracks. Stroller tracks? Possibly. I wonder where they go. Let's follow them. The mysterious tracks led back to the kitty's own house. Ah! Guys, I found it. But the stroller's empty. Hey, what's this thread doing here? Oh, that's Miss Kitty Lou's hair. Hey, look, it's another one. The kitty detectives followed the trail of threads. Found her! Looks like Mommy's the culprit in the lost doll mystery. Yep, guilty as charged. I found her in the stroller dripping wet, so I pushed the stroller back to the house and I hung her up to dry. Thank you, Mommy. I guess this means the case is solved. When you're finished playing, you should put your doll back where she belongs. I found my lost car and putting smelly sock. Oh. 
<laughs> Look at my little detectives. And guess whose daddy got his paws on a copy of the new Sherlock Holmes board game? Awesome! Bee wow, bee wow, bee wow, bee wow! Being a detective is great fun, but it's good to put your toys back where they belong so you can find them when you're ready to have fun again.